Welcome back to Brian Knows Movies. Let's talk about Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. This week we are talking about Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul, written and directed by Adama Ebo and starring Regina Hall and Sterling K. Brown. Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul is about this mega church pastor, Pastor Lee Curtis Childs and his first lady, Trinity Childs. Their mega church, Wander to Greater Past, is mired in controversy. Pastor Childs, he has uh, allegations of sexual misconduct and a lawsuit out against him. His whole 21,000 member congregation has left the church so much so that they have had to close the church for some time. Trinity Childs, the first lady, she decides to stick next to Pastor Lee Curtis and together they're planning a comeback. They're going to reopen Wander to Greater Pass on Easter Sunday. Pastor Lee Curtis also invited documentarians in to document and to record the comeback of the year, the comeback of the century, um, as he puts it. So you're going through this process of reopening the church with the pastor and first lady um, through the eyes of this documentary. Now, Pastor Childs and First Lady Childs, for that matter, are what you would think of as these prosperity gospel uh, preachers who take advantage of people and money. They're rich. They have jets. They have Bugattis. They have all these cars, thousand dollar wardrobes, tens of probably hundreds of thousand dollar wardrobes. Uh, between the two of them, and it's something that they flaunt, uh, almost like if they don't see the irony of them doing this and still uh, serving the church. Uh, so there's uh, hypocrisy uh, within both of them in terms of the living in excess, something that you wouldn't consider a man of faith and a woman of faith that is leading people uh, to do. You're going through this and you're seeing this couple pretty much flounder and implode on themselves while trying to reopen this church. Hunt for Jesus, Save Your Soul is satire. It's comedy. It's absurdist. There is a narrative that's being pushed by Ebo about the commodification of religion. There is a narrative about hypocrisy that exists, specifically hypocrisy that you could see within the black church. You get a chance to uh, come into this world of the black church. You see some of the mannerisms, some of those tropes that if you grew up in the black church like me, you would recognize instantly. The way that you Christian cuss out somebody by, you know, bless your heart and all those types of things, being slain in the spirit and aspects of religion and aspects of black church culture. The issue with the movie is that there really isn't much of a movie here. The mockumentary style uh, is supposed to help you navigate uh, the story, but there's no story to navigate. You're basically just with this couple as they're trying to reopen the church. But as you move from scene to scene, there's not really a lot of progression in terms of character development. There's not much progression in terms of plot. So the movie is much more interested in taking jabs at different pieces of the culture as opposed to telling a cohesive story. Unfortunately, this movie's not funny. Like, if you're not gonna have a lot going on in your film, you have to have a lot of laughs. I consider myself an insider within this culture. Uh, there's great things and there's bad things, and the bad things should be satirized and it should be made fun of, but the jokes just land flat. I think that a better example of a mockumentary style movie that doesn't have a lot going on, but it's very funny. It's the humor uh, that brings you through the movie. Or the Borat films. The Borat films are great because the comedy is there. This movie uh, just doesn't achieve that type of success. There's also some weird decisions made with characters. The two leads, Sterling K. Brown, Regina Hall, fantastic job. They should get all the credit in the world for what they did in this film. I really love Regina Hall. She gave you some range that you are not used to in many of her other projects. She showed that she could be a leading lady and she can give you um, a lot of depth, even in the comedic role. Sterling K. Brown, and we know what he can do because we've seen him act dramatically in This Is Us. Uh, but we also still get some comedy from him. So 
those two are great. It's everybody around them that's really boring. They're not fleshed out. You really don't get any connection with anyone in the story. There are some good tidbits with this film. Once again, I just want to mention Sterling K. Brown and Regina Hall should get chef's kiss for this film. They really did an extraordinary job of bringing those two characters to life. The movie is beautiful. There's a lot of vibrant colors. The set design and set pieces are done very well within the film. It's just that you wish that there was much more story to live in this world that was built. The 2018 short film that the Ebo twins created, Honk for Jesus Savior Soul, was critically acclaimed and I can see why. Unfortunately, they were not able to translate that short film into a featuring film that gives more depth and more heart to the story um, that they're trying to tell. So what's my rating? See it, stream it, or skip it? I was really excited about Honk for Jesus Save Your Soul. It was one of my top 15 films that I was looking forward to. In fact, you can find that list on BrianKnowsMovies.com. I was connected to the material as a person who grew up in the black church. Unfortunately, I was let down. I'm going to have to give this movie a skip it. I don't really think that it delivers or it completely achieves its goal. There are better movies out there that really uh, talk about or explore the black church um, that's a little bit more honest or a little bit more, I don't know how else to say it's entertaining. But anyway, what do I know? I'm just a guy that loves movies. So if you're going to see Hunk for Jesus, Save Your Soul in the theaters or on Peacock, where it's streaming right now, uh, please go to the comments and let me know what you thought. Am I being too harsh, too critical? as an insider of that culture. If you know nothing about this culture and you watch this movie, do you get the jokes, the few that are in there? Uh, do you connect with the material in some sort of other way? Please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for joining us. I will be back, of course, next week with more content. Hey, if you like this review, please hit the like button. That will help me tremendously moving forward. And share the video. Uh, that would help me tremendously. Thank you so much, and I will see you at the theaters next week.